Hey YouTube, what's going on? Good morning. It is, uh, gosh, what day is today? <laughs> I'm losing track. Uh, today is Tuesday and we have been here now for just a couple days shy of a month. So I figured I would take some time to uh, go over what we've learned here in a month. Uh, we are kind of still in that honeymoon phase. So, you know, take that into account when, as we're going through all this, we, you know, I don't know how long the honeymoon phase is always supposed to last, but here uh, we have just fallen in love with Shayla. We think it's a wonderful place. Um, but I'm gonna kinda, kinda take you through what we've learned in the first month. And we are gonna do a, a, a little bit of a comparison between Shayla and Matagalpa. Um, just because that's where we spent the last year. They're both in Central America. They're both options for you. Uh, I think they're both good options, uh, just to kind of depending on what you like. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through these. Uh, I wrote down quite a few notes. So um, first of all, please take a minute to like and subscribe. Doesn't cost you a thing, it helps our channel a lot. So. Um, and also comment down below what uh, what you'd like to see going forward as far as content. Um, we I do have a couple of ideas I'm going to touch on as far as what we're going to do over the next couple of weeks. But uh, well, I'll go ahead and tell you now actually. So uh, we've already been approved to do a uh, a quick video in our gym. So you're going to see what our gym looks like compared to what the gym looks like uh, in Matagalpa. Um, rental houses, we may get one or two, uh, go see one or two rental places for you. Uh, one of the things that Shayla's famous for is our Spanish schools. Um, lots and lots of people come here to learn Spanish. Just so happens that uh, there's a Spanish school right here in our building because our landlord is a Spanish teacher, Doña Rosie. A uh, wonderful lady, so if you're interested in learning a little bit of, about Spanish uh, schools, then we're going to tell you a little bit. We'll go over kind of costs and what they cover and how long they usually are and things like that. And we're going to cover restaurants and coffee shops ongoing because uh, there are a lot of them here. And just like in Matagalpa, uh, if you watched a lot of those videos, you remember I mentioned that, you know, you'll be walking along and it's something may look absolutely like nothing from the outside, the front door, the way it's painted and everything just might look like absolutely nothing. And then one day you walk by and the doors open, and you peek in, and there's just some beautiful spot inside. And that's the same here as well. So we're going to kind of show you some of those also. So, uh, our first month, um, a couple things here and we'll just kind of, uh, uh, no particular order again um, much less litter uh, there is you still know that you're in Central America when you're here uh, but much less litter uh, we just it's just not all over the place and just uh, I don't know you'll you'd have to drive through both to see but a lot less litter here there is still some but not uh, uh, not a lot of litter here so it's really really nice uh, walking around downtown and everything. Um, <laughs> this is a comment, and I'm just going to tell you, we've been here for almost a month. We have yet to see a man peeing out in public on the street. Uh, the response to this one, when I, when I commented on things that we didn't like about Nicaragua, the response, uh, a couple of them were odd to say the least, but um, yeah. Now, it may happen. We may see it today, but... Uh, as of now, a couple of days short of a month, we have not seen that here yet. Not in the residential, not downtown. Uh, just like in Matagalpa, uh, there's a couple of public bathrooms there. I think they cost, I don't know, a dime, a nickel, something like that to go in. Um, let's see. Next thing, noise level. Um, you know, the noise level, we are, it's funny because we ended up four blocks away from the main park. And that's the same spot we were in in Matagalpa, four, four blocks, maybe five. 
but about the same distance from the big park where everybody gathers and all the stores are. Um, there's just a lot less noise here. Um, we don't hear the super loud motorcycles. Um, there are fireworks here, but much, uh, it's just quite a bit less. Um, now, that being said, you know, December, December has gotten to be the month of fireworks in Matagalpa. And I'm going to say Matagalpa and Shela because we didn't spend, although we've gone to a lot of places in Nicaragua, um, you know, our, we were, for the most part, Lydia traveled around quite a bit, but for the most part, I was in Matagalpa only. So, um, but much less noise here. Now in Matagalpa, you could probably move, uh, you know, a little farther away from the center of the city and escape a lot of that noise. Um, but here it's just been really, really quiet. Um, street dogs. You are still going to see the street dogs here, just like before. However, uh, you, it is a noticeable difference that you don't see um, the skeleton street dogs here. The street dogs, it, I mean, we noticed it the very first day when you're walking around, the street dogs all look well fed. I mean, you don't see any rib cages. Um, and Lydia and I have stopped to feed a few. And when we do, uh, a lot of times they're picky. I mean, they don't even want to eat what we're offering. So, um, you know, you are going to see the street dogs. There's, we, we, it seems to uh, feel like there's a lot more people helping here. I mean, we've run into some, some people on the expat group that, are, that uh, help with the dogs. So, um, yeah, definitely, uh, it, it's still very sad to see dogs out on the street and they're not getting that human contact. They're not getting any affection. And still, when we are feeding the street dogs, we get a lot of strange looks. But uh, anyway, street dogs are still here. They're just not very thin. Uh, they seem to get food from different places, wherever they, however they know to, you know, where they can get food, but they're uh, in a better place here. Guatemala, as soon as we cross the border into Guatemala, now we had, you know, a few hours getting to, when we were coming in here a month ago, we had a few hours getting into the capital city, Guatemala City, then we had four hours uh, going up the mountains to get here to uh, Shela, which again is pretty close to 8,000 feet in elevation. Uh, you could almost tell right away that it just wasn't the same. It was prosperous. Business is booming. Uh, if you've seen our uh, videos on the malls, uh, we've been to three. There may be more that we just don't even know about yet, but three huge malls there. You know, it's not, I didn't like going to the malls in the States. They, for the most part, they seemed dead to me. There was very few people there. Here, business is booming. I mean, these malls are full of people. Most of the time, it's hard to get a seat in the food court. Um, so, it's just much more prosperous. There's fewer beggars out on the street. Um, so, just, uh, uh, it seems like a prosperous place. Everybody seems happy. Um, the other thing that we noticed right away is, um, and this might be good or might be bad for you, and this and same for us. Uh, you know, the dress in Matagalpa, you know, and I referred to it as lake house casual because it reminded me of when I was young and my grandparents' lake house, and we spent the summer, you know, shorts, t-shirts, flip-flops, just running in and out, going to swim in the lake, coming home. Um, people dress up more here. So uh, it, in regular clothes and also in like the traditional clothing, which I think is super cool. Um, not really for the men, but for the women, the traditional clothing is just really, really cool. I like it. I think it's cool to see. Um, and you'll see multi-generations walking through the streets in the traditional clothes, anywhere from little tiny girls uh, to grandmas. And so, I don't know, I think it's really cool, but people do dress up more here. It's kind of like uh, years ago, Lydia and I went to Bogota, and we were used to the dress in Costa Rica, and when we got to Bogota, it was like, uh-oh, we are way underdressed. 
and so you know it's just a little bit dressier here you don't see a lot of people wearing shorts actually i got one comment about <laughs> you know how i was prepared for the beach one day uh you know the uh if you stay in the sun in the in the middle of the afternoon it's warm uh, but you can walk 10 feet away and sit in the shade and it's just a different world. So uh, you can pretty much always wear pants. Um, once you get to say four in the afternoon, it's cool. And a lot of times you may want like a light jacket or something. Uh, but people are more dressed up here. And I think the traditional dress is really cool. Um, restaurants. Uh, so many restaurants. And again... Uh, it takes a while for us to find them because a lot of times it's like very nondescript on the outside and you don't, if they're not open, you don't see anything and would never suspect that there's a, a beautiful restaurant behind the doors. But then, you know, a couple days later, we'll walk down the same street at a different time and all of a sudden they've got the doors open, you peek in and you go, wow, that is really nice in there. So uh, it may take a while for us to kind of find all these cool places. Uh, but, sorry about that it's early in the morning by the way it's about 8 30 uh sam and i have been up and had breakfast and coffee and lydia and roscoe are still sleeping and we are up on the roof uh, as you might be able to tell i brought up some clothes that are that i put you know are drying up here for us but uh, uh so anyway restaurants it might take us a while um, but we will get some uh, some restaurants out to you on video. Coffee shops are all over the place here. And for the most part, they're small and really, really cool. So, you know, a lot of times they may have three, four, five tables and that's it. So they're tiny when you go in, um, but very, very cool. There's a lot of them. Uh, I put, uh, put a post on the expat page, Facebook page here and uh just ask them like hey i noticed there's a lot of coffee shops around the park downtown uh anybody have a favorite and i mean i got a list of like 15 different coffee shops uh this, a lot of them have the same had a lot of people um you know mentioning the same ones over and over again so those will probably be the ones that we'll start with especially uh, the one that got the most votes here was one called habitual they got the most responses from that post so we'll show you a little bit about the cool coffee shops around here also. A um, few more things. Uh, dental. Uh, as you know, if you watch the videos uh, from Nicaragua, we had a couple bad experiences with right. dental. We had a couple bad experiences with dental. And, um, but here, Lydia has got, is, is doing a lot of dental work and she loves her dentist. Lydia has a problem where Almost every time she goes to the dentist, she comes home with a really bad headache. She gets migraines. So if, if the dentist is not super gentle, she comes home and she feels terrible, sometimes for a couple days. But here, she loves the dentist, has not had any headaches. Uh, everything's going well. Prices are good. Um, it's a very fancy place on the third floor of one of the big malls. Uh, and this dentist came highly recommended by a lot of the expats on the Facebook group page. Um, so some of the things that we've really enjoyed since we've been here, the malls, which I'm not a mall person, but it's fun to be able to kind of go walk around, spend some time. You can take a Collectivo for like 25, 30 cents and, you know, do very minimal walking to get to any of the big malls. Um, I'm going to show you our gym. Uh, still not a super fancy gym, the one that I joined, uh, but it's close. I can walk there in about 15 minutes, maybe 15, yeah, I'd say about 15 minutes. Uh, but definitely an upgrade from my last one. My last one I loved uh, in Matagalpa, but it was small and it was, you know, the equipment was a lot older. Um, we may do a detailed cost of living coming up pretty soon, but I can tell you that it's going to be pretty close. I mean, it's, there's uh, rent is a little bit cheaper here, at least for us. Uh, some of the things like restaurants are a little more expensive. We have yet to find like one of our favorite breakfast places, as you know, was with uh, Doña Victoria. And we'd go there and have breakfast for $3 for both of us. Here, it's more like $3 each 
Uh, so some things are a little more expensive. Groceries we think are about the same. Um, but overall, it's gonna be really, really close as far as cost of living. Climate here, perfect for us. Now, again, our thermostat is a little different than a lot of people. We like it a little bit cooler, but you know, highs of 65 to 70, lows 45 to 50. For us, we just couldn't ask for better, better weather than here. It's sunny every day that we've been here. Uh, again, we're still in the honeymoon phase here. We've only been here, I think we're two days shy of a month, but we absolutely love Shayla. So that's the update. One month in, we'll keep updating you, keep bringing you content. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see. And, you know, if you are trying, if you are tired of working, you're still thinking you may be a few years away from retirement, you might not be. You want to get off that hamster wheel. You want to get out of the stress, the rat race. Just remember, if you're looking for an adventure, there has to be something more.